Hey everybody, I, um, I'm a little behind on my devotions. I actually, uh, I've just been tied up. So I'm gonna read two today. So you're gonna get a bonus. Two in one day, yesterday's and today. So you can kind of like review what your day was yesterday and see if it parallels this little devotion. So yesterday was Tuesday, September 7th. Your homework assignment was to read, is to read um, Ephesians 6, um, Psalms 28, 6 through 9. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 6, 10. The title for yesterday's devotion was Our Strength. And I wish I would have had time to do it because of, after all the nonsense that I was getting back and forth, you know what? If you're not going to do anything about it, why attack us that are? Seriously? Do unto others. So... Then, when I do unto others, that is exactly how they've treated me, but I do it with love and kindness, I'm still attacked. So, you know what? You are part of the problem, and you're why we're living in what we're living right now, in a world with that's a monopoly. And I never like that game. I'm liking it less and less. The more our world is, more like it. So, anyway, did you ever play dress up when you were a child? Putting on a frilly dress made you a princess. No, it didn't. But that's what I was told to believe. Wearing a football helmet made you the greatest player ever. Adding a piece or two of a costume made you strong and confident. Well, Wonder Woman, amen it did. When I was wore that costume, boy, did that make me feel good because I worked my tail end off working out those insanity workouts to make myself look like that and I look better now and I don't even have to do any of that crap so I'm pretty dang happy with what my current um, health is headed in the cure direction not a band-aid direction so stay tuned Paul provides a wonderful metaphor of putting on armor to describe how our faith can be strengthened to make us strong, confident witnesses for Christ. We can become strong for in the Lord, witnesses for Christ. We can become, oh, I already said that. I'm just not having issues, I'm having issues. We can become strong for the, in the Lord to withstand the devil, yeah, that's for sure, and stand firm in our faith if we put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, Shoes like the readiness of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Holy Spirit. On our own, we are weak and broken. Oh, boy, that was I. Not anymore. I'm getting stronger every day. But like Paul, we can be strengthened to proclaim the mystery of the gospel if we are well equipped, Ephesians 6, 19. If we possess the Lord's truth, righteousness, peace, salvation, and Holy Spirit, we can take our place in God's army. Christ has already won the battle for us by his death on the cross. But clothed in the Lord's armor, we are dressed up to serve him and to serve others so that they may come to faith in the Savior. Yeah, I get attacked. And... And then they're telling me they'll pray for me, which is great, but I'm doing great. And Princess Harley is right here and she's doing freaking fantastic. Right, baby girl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> it's too late. I should have I should have went to bed. I didn't sleep a whole lot last night. But I was just a busy little bee. Okay, so today. Wednesday, September 8th. Your homework assignment is to read Philippians 1, verses 1 through 20, and Psalms 145, 1 to 7. Filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God, Philippians 1, verse 11. Um, today's title is Following Christ's Example. 
faith in, in the saving grace of Christ guided the lives of grandma and grandpa. Their example is reflected in the children and grandchildren who are following in their faithful footsteps. Many who believe in Christ were influenced to follow him by family members, fellow church members, or friends. It's important to have it's important to have in, encouragers in our lives, people who uplift us with the example of their righteousness lives and whose words and actions reflect their faith in Christ. Thank the Lord, my Grandma June was the one that raised me. She was a bomb. She was so cool. I miss her. Um, wow, that just kind of made me choked up. Anywho, um... wasn't expecting that. Whew. Paul offers encouragement to the Philippians to live a righteous like following Christ's example. Even though we cannot be like Christ because of our sinful nature, the more we try to follow Christ's example, the less likely we are to fall victim to sin and false ideas about our salvation. We are encouraged in our faith by those we know who are lived, who have lived or are living a righteous life in Christ. Their encouragement of our faith is an antidote for doubt. It's the spiritual medicine we need. Oh boy, is it. And we need a lot of it right now. We are then... Oh. We are then enabled by the Holy Spirit to give God the glory and to praise His holy name. Lord, help me to follow the example of Christ in 